Chapter 5 King Hiram of Tyre had always been a loyal friend of David, so when he learned that David's son Solomon was the new king of Israel, Hiram sent ambassadors to congratulate him. Then Solomon sent this message back to Hiram. You know that my father David was not able to build a temple to honor the name of the Lord his God because of the many wars he waged with surrounding nations. He could not build until the Lord gave him victory over all his enemies. But now the Lord my God has given me peace on every side, and I have no enemies, and all is well. So I am planning to build a temple to honor the name of the Lord my God, just as he instructed my father that I should do. For the Lord told him, Your son, whom I will place on your throne, will build the temple to honor my name. Now, please, command that cedars from Lebanon be cut for me. Let my men work alongside yours, and I will pay your men whatever wages you ask. As you know, there is no one among us who can cut timbers like you Sidonians. When Hiram received Solomon's message, he was very pleased and said, Praise the Lord for giving David a wise son to be king of the great nation of Israel. Then he sent this reply to Solomon. I have received your message, and I will do as you have asked concerning the timber. I can supply you with both cedar and cypress. My servants will bring the logs from the Lebanon mountains to the Mediterranean Sea and build them into rafts. We will float them along the coast to whatever place you choose. Then we will break the rafts apart and deliver the timber to you. You can pay me with food for my household. So Hiram produced for Solomon as much cedar and cypress timber as he desired. In return, Solomon sent him an annual payment of 100,000 bushels of wheat for his household and 110 gallons of olive oil. So the Lord gave great wisdom to Solomon just as he had promised. And Hiram and Solomon made a formal alliance of peace. Then King Solomon enlisted 30,000 laborers from all Israel. He sent them to Lebanon in shifts, 10,000 every month, so that each man would be one month in Lebanon and two months at home. Adoniram was in charge of this labor force. Solomon also enlisted 70,000 common laborers, 80,000 stonecutters in the hill country, and 3,600 foremen to supervise the work. At the king's command, the stonecutters quarried and shaped costly blocks of stone for the foundation of the temple. Men from the city of Gibal helped Solomon's and Hiram's builders prepare the timber and stone for the temple.